Well, folks, today's the day. I've been waiting for this day for a little bit now because I've had some exciting news that I heard two months ago but have not been able to publicly share it until today. Today, Fontaine Peugeot just announced their new model 41 Sailing Cat. Uh, it's super exciting, super innovative. You will see a lot of new innovation, uh, a little bit more focus on performance, which is awesome, and some really cool new things, including fully electric option. Uh, best news is uh, the price is actually not any higher than the Isla 40. So without further ado, let's get into it and let me talk to you about the new 41. So here we go, folks. Um, I think we'll see a lot of design features from the newer models, the Thera 80, Aura 51, Alba 45. This is really a design evolution that's applied on other models <clears throat> and then brought into the new model 41. As you can see, it looks like a mini Aura 51 from this angle. Uh, lots of cool new features. Um, I'm going to stop it here so you can see how much bigger than the Isla 40 this looks. You'll notice the cockpit seems a lot bigger. In fact, maybe even bigger than the Estrella 42. Going to take a quick pause here to see the transom seat on the port side. And now we'll take a quick look at the interior before doing a full review. So the hum station, take a look. It's like the Estrella 42 up to the Aura 51, recessed and raised. So now let's take a closer look at the overall design. So of course, from this angle, you'll see the integrated solar, which is almost the uh, trademark design of the new design Fontaine Peugeot. Let's take a look at the specs. So as we can see, the length overall is just under 40 feet and the beam is just under 23, which is an indication that this is absolutely a replacement for the Isla 40 and not the Australia 42. Even though the boat looks as big as the Australia 42 or maybe bigger, um, it's been amazing what they've done in design to create more space. We'll see in a minute how they've done this with the hull design to create more space in the interior without compromising the overall performance. So now let's take a look at the overall sail plan to see how they've increased performance here with a slightly larger mainsail of 10% bigger than the Isla 40. Slightly smaller Genoa, but a 10% bigger Jenniker. Fontaine Peugeot have increased the overall sail plan of the boat, making it a more powerful rig. They've also done some things with the keels and the shape of the hull to increase the performance too, which we'll look at in a little bit. So let's take a look at one of the most interesting design improvements, the increased keel size. So the draft and depth is now five feet rather than 3.7. This is a pretty significant increase, so it should increase the performance upwind quite a bit. To play devil's advocate a little bit, they have increased the overall weight of the boat by adding the platform and different things. So. That could counteract some of the improvements of performance, but I still really believe this is gonna be a better performing boat than the Isla 40. So now let's look at some of the capacity. So water capacity is increased over the Isla 40. Fuel capacity is increased over the Isla 40, um, making this boat a better cruising boat, arguably. It does come in the standard Yanmar or Volvo, or more excitingly, it's now available in the hybrid motors setup which is basically electric drive powered by batteries solar with your backup own and generator this new innovation is called a smart electric concept i'll get into this a bit more in a different video but give me a call or drop me an email if you'd like more information it's been proven with over 25 smart electric boats already in the water so we're really excited for it so now let's look at the other hull design change that's going to increase performance so we'll take a look at the water line entry to the water. It's still quite narrow, but they've taken the hard shine flare and opened it up above the water line, which is gonna give you that really big interior, which you're gonna notice once you go below. Looking at the uh, anchor, we'll notice it's even a little bit more aft than prior models, keeping the weight to the center. We've got a carbon fiber spinnaker pole, reducing the weight forward and reducing the weight overall. Uh, it's quite obvious that FP has really focused on performance with this model. So now let's take a look at the forward part of the boat. The forward cockpit, you'll notice, is considerably larger than the Isla 40. Really large sunbed with drink holders on either side. And now one of the most interesting new options is the integrated solar and the trampoline. I still fully don't understand this, so I'm going to have to keep my opinion on this until I know more about it, maybe see it. Um, I can't imagine though at the boat shows the kids running up to jump on the trampolines and 
I'm just not so sure what's going to happen then. Um, but yeah, pretty cool idea. Just not so sure. Going to wait until I know more about it. Brings us along to the integrated solar, which is a proven design concept now being integrated on the TANA, the Aura 51, and now on this. We now have a lounge deck up top, which the is the 40 did not have. Uh, it's larger than the Estrella 42 upper deck. Now moving to my favorite design feature of all of the Fontaine Peugeot, it's this helm position. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll understand why I like this helm position so much. You can see on this 41, they've actually improved it a, a little bit also by adding this screen almost where the Garmin will go in front of the helm wheel. Uh, you've got a nice backrest, cup holders, really, really nice comfortable, protected hem station like on all of the other Fontaine Peugeot. Great to see. So now let's take a look at the aft cockpit. So you'll notice straight away that you have the transom seat on the port side, which is really cool. You now have the electric platform option on this 41, which the Isla 40 did not have. Personally, I love the platform. It's great for kids, dogs, loading groceries on from the dinghy. Um, I know some of our cruisers prefer to have dinghy davits, which is still an option, but I really like this platform. So much larger cockpit area than the Isla. We have this transom seat on the port side now. Also this curved seat around on the port side by the dining table, which is really cool. It really opens up this area. You'll now notice the doors open and this concept was born on the Aura 51 and is now being carried through the FP range. It's just amazing. It connects the two areas so, so well. Um, now, if you take a look how large this cockpit table is, uh, standard, it's big enough for eight people. It can be extended for 10 people. Um, nice settee aft, which really encloses the cockpit, makes it feel really safe when you're offshore. Look at this integrated plancha on the starboard side. Another really cool design. It beats the rusty old a uh, grill hanging off the back, really, really like that. Integrated cockpit fridge, which we've been doing for a while now, which is really nice. And look at this new life raft area. It will stop people complaining about the old design where it was under the stairs. Really nice design life raft area. Very happy with that. I've mentioned a few times that I thought this was a replacement for the 42 when I saw it first. Um, it just looks that much bigger but no it isn't a replacement for the isla 40 um, which is great look how connected the interior and the exterior is we now have the island in the middle a really wide opening door which just there's just a great flow between the interior and the exterior lots of room for people to walk in and out you'll notice a sunbed now behind the settee on the port side in the aft cockpit Walking forward, you've got this great island. You've got a lot of galley storage. You will have your double sink. You will have your standard propane stove and oven. You'll have two large fridges and also a freezer, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Take a look at this headroom. Anyone that is 6465, you're gonna have no problem here. Now on the starboard side, you'll see the navigation area, which I know some people will say, oh, we missed the chart table, but over the years, I've heard people complain about not enough storage more than not enough space to take your chart out and map a course. So I think storage over the small chart table is definitely a win. Another thing to note here, it's a U-shaped salon settee. This one has the small coffee table. You can also get a larger dinette that folds up and folds down. My favorite design is the table that folds into a coffee table and folds up into a dinette. Um, it offers the solution for both. So looking at the galley, like I mentioned, propane, but it can also be electric, uh, can be induction stove and a combo oven, which is my favorite. There's trash storage in the island, so you don't need a trash can falling around the place. And take a look how connected the interior is to the forward cockpit. So we don't have the forward door like some of the others do. Um, if you'd like to talk about this, I'd love to talk to you about it. The basic reason we don't is kind of like the convertible car concept to 
anyone that understands what you have to do to turn a sports car into convertible will understand what I mean. Basically, it adds a lot of weight forward that we just feel like we cannot get away with. And that's for a few different reasons. It's always a compromise when building a boat, and we feel like adding that much weight forward is just too much of a compromise to what Fontaine Peugeot is trying to achieve. So now let's take a look at the deck plan. You'll see 2,000 watts of solar on the coach roof and additional where the trampoline would go. The aft cockpit and salon galley area. And now let's look at the cabins. So this is the owner's version. You'll see the owner's cabin on the port side. We did decide to keep the owner's cabin aft, unlike other manufacturers that just decided to move the owner's cabin forward. Not sure why they did that. We still strongly believe the owner's cabin should be aft. You'll see it's a nice big area. We shifted the orientation of the owner's bed to give some more space on either side and really create more space in this hull. Uh, of course, separate shower, separate head. And now let's look at the four cabin version. The head configuration on this can be two heads on either side or one head on either side. I think the one head on either side with a bigger shower is probably the better way, but personal preference. I personally don't like a wet head scenario, so I would probably go with one head on either side. So walking into the owner's cabin, you will just see how big this looks. I mean, it's a queen size bed uh, without that cutaway at the end that we see on older models. This is due to the orientation of the bed being askew a little bit. Um, if we take a look forward from where your head would be, you'll just notice the abundance of natural light and space very comfortable place to sleep and spend a lot of time. Moving forward, you'll notice all the storage on either side, a vanity area, TV that folds out so you can watch when you're in bed. And now check out this shower. This is the famous Fontaine Peugeot shower room. You will see the sink on the inboard side with a nice counter space, storage above and below, the head forward. And now the famous Fontaine Peugeot shower. Look how big this is. Lots of room, lots of headroom, storage for shampoos. Now we look aft at the owner's cabin again. It's just huge, massive for a 40 foot boat. Hard to imagine it's not a 42 or a 45. So now walking aft into the aft cockpit. Again, you'll notice a lot of headroom, uh, indirect light in above, which is really nice. Um, easy access to the helm station, which again is my favorite design feature of the Fontaine Peugeot. How connected this helm is to the interior, the aft cockpit above and also the forward cockpit very safe, comfortable helm station. Of course, there will be the option for a soft or hard top bimini and full enclosures in the helm and aft cockpit. And that's the first glimpse at the new 41. Still a lot more details to come. So guys, how awesome is that? Super excited, such a, a great new design. Um, still very new to us. We're still getting all the information. Uh, we've been studying the pricing, we've been, um, We've been getting really excited, so excited we ordered some boats for next year. So we do have some available for 2025. Um, I think it's three hulls for next year. So if you are interested, uh, my details will be below. I would be happy to share everything I have with you. I'd be happy to jump on a Zoom and do a bill meeting together. Um, maybe come to the factory next year and you can see hull number one with me. Um, whatever it may be, my details will be below. Uh, give me a call, give me a text, email me. And I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you guys soon.